Okay, welcome to the Guitar Show. We're going to be talking today about gold foil pickups. I'm going to be um, really focusing on vintage style pickups. Now, these were kind of um, um, first appeared on uh, 1960s Tesco or Tisco guitars made in Japan. So these are Japanese made pickups. Um, not to be confused by, <coughs> with um, diamond pickups, which are kind of similar and often referred to as gold foils. Um, and they're the kind of the kind of um, moustaches. They've got like uh, two moustaches uh, on the pickup, as it were. Um, uh, Tisco pickups were made in Japan, and they were actually um, they consisted of little rubber magnets, um, 44 gauge wire, and you know they were kind of seen as a thin sounding pickup. And it wasn't really until um, a great guitar player by the name of Rai Kuda came along and started using them. And he actually um, was tipped off by David Lindley to use it in the neck of his slide guitar, his Stratocaster. Because Ry Kuda wasn't happy with the sound he was getting from the normal Stratocaster neck pickup. So David Lindley said, try this um, Tisco Gold Foil. So that's what I've got in this guitar here, which is kind of like a replica of Ry Kuda's um, Kuda Caster. Um, you'll notice that um, as well, this is actually a vintage one. So if you can see there, it's so actually a, this one here is actually a vintage Tisco, which I'm, I've managed to find. Now there's a few different types of these. Um, so if you take a good look at this one, actually, um, this is the actual one that Raikuda uses, and it and it's got um, the holes kind of at the top and the screws at the bottom. It's called gold foil because it's got a bit of um, gold foil wrapping paper over the the bobbins and um, so forth. So that's the reason for it to be called gold foil. There's nothing, there's no construction benefits from having that piece of gold foil there. Um, another thing, uh, it's got adjustable pole pieces, which is quite useful actually, because with a slide guitar, obviously the strings are quite high off, you know, the um, fretboard, so you can actually adjust those pole pieces to catch the tone better. So this is kind of the sound of, of this guitar. when you're playing sort of finger style as well. So it's kind of um, it's 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 a thinner tone, I'd say, than obviously a path um, pickup, but it, it's kind of got a bit of ambience about it. It's kind of it's a big kind of it's because it's thinner on the mid range. You've got more bass and and high end coming through than mid range. So that's that's probably the way I would describe it tonally. It's it's, it's a kind of hollow sounding pickup, if you, if it were, um, and it's great for slide guitar. Um, Okay, so that's that's the um, the Tisco Go Four. I'm going to do uh, a video in the future where I, I'm going to compare this vintage one to uh, a new replica but for the moment in this video we're just concentrating on the original ones so what I would say about this one it's a very unique sound and it's kind of it is a little bit thin so if you're thinking of a big fat sounded pickup it's not going to do that but it's going to give you something it's going to give you a bit of atmosphere to your playing a bit of ambience is the word I'm looking for so also, you know, for chordal stuff, you know, when you're using delays and um, chorusing and, and so forth, it's really, it really takes out really, really well, um, and it just gives you something that's slightly a bit different, something unique. And um, you know, I mean, you've got to remember that Ry Kuda, when he's playing his his Kuda Caster, generally um, he's on the back pickup for soloing. You know, if he's playing with distortion, and then I'm, I'm guessing that he's using this more for the kind of um, chordal sort of stuff. You know. 
So that's it's a great cord. It's it's great in this neck position. I'm not sure I'd want it have it in the bridge position because, like I said, it it, it does lack some of that mid range punch. So it would be lacking in in the bridge position. Just in my opinion. But you know, I've heard some people with put this pick up in a Stratocaster and it sounds really good. Let's check out let's check out another type of um, golf ball pickup. So this pickup here is quite interesting. This is actually a Gyatone um, pickup, and it was available on a guitar called the Gyatone SG, which is kind of like a semi-acoustic guitar. And uh, for me, this is actually the kind of the best Japanese golf ball in my opinion. I think it's uh, the best one out there, even better than the one that Raikuda has on his guitar, <clears throat> in my opinion, because it kind of has a bit more depth to it, has a bit more uh, meat on the bone. Let's just listen to that. It's still got the same kind of gold foil characteristics as the um, Tiesco gold foil, but there's just a bit, uh, it's a thicker sound, you know. And for soloing, it's also it's got a very jazzy sort of sound, especially here in this neck position. Oops, let me take my beats off. And it really is a good um, substitute for the telly neck pickup, I think. Quite punchy when you need it to be, and it's got it's, it has got some mids um, that just enable you to, you know, get it more like a normal pickup. So, if that makes sense. as well from 1960 um, and like I said it's my favorite gold foil and uh, one definitely you should try and check out okay so let's check out my other Telecaster and I've also got a uh, Guyatone SG gold foil pickup in here now this is the closest pickup I've got to a reproduction of this um, pickup because I've um, got a good friend called Mark from Mojo Pickups who rewound this um, and Mark actually makes a replica of this pickup so if you go to Mojo Pickups um, you can you know you can check out his pickups and he, he actually does a, a repro. So this is probably it's probably slightly different because obviously the magnets in this are from the 1960s, but this has been rewound by Mark, so it's probably going to sound similar to a modern, more modern um, reproduction of this. slightly different sound I mean obviously this is a thin line telly it's got a maple neck um, so it's going to be slightly different tone that's the blue telecaster I was playing before had a, had a bigger tone anyway but that um, 
that original pickup with the original windings you can see the warmth of this but this this pickup here is I love this pickup this is sounding really cool you know Another application um, for this pickup is, is using it for sort of strumming chords and arpeggios. Okay, let's talk a little bit about how you can fit these pickups to your guitar. Now, if you have a look at a Gold 4 pickup, you can see that it's actually quite flat and it's not that tall. Okay, so what you could do in actual technically, for example, on a Telecaster, if you didn't want to route out the body and ruin, ruin the actual wood on the guitar, what you could do is shim the neck up with a, with a wooden shim, so it'd be so thickness, and then you might be able to slide this um, below the strings like that and you can literally just remove the scratch plate and just screw this into the wood and then you wouldn't have to do any routing into the body if you want to do like I've done here with this pickup I've actually cut the scratch plate and I think there's been some routing underneath here as well so you've kind of permanently Damaged the not damaged but altered the guitar. So that's just something you want to think about. You can install these with a shim on the neck, and then you don't actually have to um, route, do any routing. But for me, you know, I love these pickups. Um, I've always had a problem with neck pickups, um, especially on the Telecaster. And for me, these just open up. They're just more open. And um, I, I've always thought the tele, tele pickups they sound good if you can get a good one. But that's very hard to find. So these ones are much more kind of consistently good. Um, and yeah, definitely check them out. If you've got any questions about this, or you want to know how to fit them, or if you want to know some other, any, any other information about these pickups, just write a comment. And uh, yeah, make some suggestions for some future videos. Thanks, see you soon.